I'm up there on stage, but every aspect of me is not on stage, and I'm not alone on stage either. There's more at work than just me as a person. I try to tap as many sources as possible and let myself be torn apart as much as possible, and hopefully everyone else is torn apart as well. Absolute deconstruction of, of your consciousness. terror and ecstasy. Some ecstasy is imp Yeah. I try to let go as much as possible and not be there myself, but throw myself into the vortex and see what comes out of it. Try to throw everyone else into the vortex as well. It's sort of the whole purpose. Destroying minds and <laughs> making people understand that there's something bigger at work. I work within the context that it's maybe not always entirely ritual, but for me it's always ritual, regardless of how, I mean, some stuff I do is, I don't know, kind of dazzable, but it still serves the same purpose as the purely ritual, ritualistic works. I don't make any, any great distinction between the two. Runes have been around for way longer than anyone actually realizes, I think. I don't, I don't really buy the whole couple of thousand years. I think it's hundreds of thousands of years. All the perspectives are wrong, I think. And like in all, in all forms of all forms of archaic writing, it's much closer connected to the gods than anything we, we're using these days. Because everything has been invented to serve a linguistic purpose and not a magical purpose. All the runes and petroglyphs and any sort of writing like that is actually comes from the gods so obviously it's an easier way to communicate you can do it with Roman letters as well if you want but I think if you find if you find the right ones for you you can you can delve a lot deeper any sort of any sort of ritual that speaks to me regardless of tradition or whatever has it serves its purpose I don't particularly follow any any dogma or any specific path, but any sort of mostly pagan, pagan sort of rituals.
death in a in a different sense than what maybe most people think when they hear the word death. It's more about initiation and about letting go of your physical manifestation in the physical world. <coughs> so death in a met metaphysical sense, not essentially in a in a flesh sense. Sometimes it's about that as well, because I mean we're not supposed to be here, so death death is the first step towards actual birth. I don't really make a difference. Both of, both are just words to describe something that we, we can't really describe because it, it's unfathomable in the sense that our brains are are made of matter, so we can only understand things of matter fully. So you actually. Maybe it's light, maybe it's darkness, maybe it's the, it's all just comparative terms that we stick on there because, well, it's just words. We were under Christian bondage for 1100 years and it was only replaced by political systems instead, so people are still the same. doesn't really matter. It's a, it's a shame, but Europe went to shit as soon as the Judea Christians came here. So it's, what is it, 1700 years of, of constant soul rape of what Europe is about. It doesn't belong here, and it will go away eventually. Sometimes maybe you need to get rid of them. I don't know.